What's going on guys? Your boy Terabyte Reacts here and today um, we're gonna do something a little bit different. I have a little friend with me today and you know it's been a while you, you know it's been a while since I talked to this friend and he's not looking too happy today. Yeah but I asked him to come on here do some shout outs for me um, you know shout out a couple of my subscribers um, on my hunter hunter reaction today um, but I don't, I don't know he seems kind of salty you know what I'm saying I don't know I don't know what's going on with him he's, he's, you know what I mean so I was gonna put him on so um, this is my friend El Chopo, uh, known this dude for for a while now, you know, even before I started my channel and stuff like that. So he right here sitting down, man, and you know he about to do some shout outs um, for y'all. I don't know why he looking so scrunchy, you know. So um, yeah, let's do it. So this is what we are doing? Huh? This is what we're doing? So, so we're not going to talk about this? We're not going to talk about the fact that when you were going to start this YouTube channel and we were talking on the phone and you said to me that you probably won't going to be doing it and then you change your mind and all of a sudden I saw you with 500 subscribers what, what, what? 1000 subscribers and now you got 2000 subscribers Hi huh? So you're trying to tell me that I when we talk you said that you we're going to start this YouTube channel and we were going to do it together. And now you're calling me to do some stupid shout out. Huh? That's what we're doing right now. I'm not even playing. I'm not even playing these games. Mm -mm. My name is El Chopo El Toro Poseidis. That is my name. Remember it. I thought we were friends, my friend. But we are friends. I thought we were friends. And you took me for granted. I cannot understand. I cannot even fathom. Is this guy being serious right now? I don't even want to call you my friend anymore. And now you call me to do some stupid shout out. You want me to shout out your subscribers. It is not going to happen, my friend. It is just not going to happen. Remember the name. Can you believe this guy? Can you believe this guy? Can you really believe this guy? Come on. El Chopo up. By, by the way, why are you across the hall trying to talk to me in the first place? <laughs> oh my god. Alright guys, I guess I'm going to have to do my reaction by myself today because El Chopo decided to not do the video with me. So, here we are. Welcome back, Terra Squad, to my hunter hunter reactions today we're going to be doing as much episodes as i can i'm gonna try to do four episodes for you guys today so right now what's going on in hunter hunter we have um we have um the situation going on where they're training okay we just found out who the who the bomber is which i totally caught me off guard who the bomber is never expected to, to be that guy that was so super friendly and stuff like that so the rules that he has 
right the rules that he has you know he, he, he touches you and he just have to say the word bomber to set the bomb on somebody else's body and the only way that they can get away get this bomb off of them is if they touch him the bomber and said I catch the bomber I have caught the bomber whatever right so that's where we are in the story right now and when it comes on to gun and killer what they're training their asses off right now Bisky's trying to get them to level up she's get she's getting them through some of the most grueling grueling training that they've ever been through she's worse she's way worse than than you know i want to see the results of gun and killer was training with bisky everybody's kind of separated they went off on their own to do their own thing so i want to know how these th how these three plot lines are going to come back together because i'm guessing somehow some way gun and killua is probably going to get back involved in the story some way somehow at some point these three story plots need to come back together because we want to know what what's what's going on with the pro hunter we also we, we know what's going on with with killua and gun and i mean if if that was the whole plot line of the story you guys telling me that this is the you know one of the best hearts ever in anime right that's what i'm hearing so i'm expecting great things and the last arc with kurapika you see how gun and killer will get back into the the main story that's what i'm expecting again because it's always you always have to bring it back around to the main characters yes you're trying to flesh out a lot of these new characters that you've introduced into the story but at some point the main characters have to fit in so that we don't completely forget that they exist at some points there got to be some sort of clash that's what i'm thinking so i'm waiting for that to happen because you can't introduce somebody like the bomber you can't introduce something like the, somebody like the bomber and you don't have a main character go up against this dude like come on that wouldn't be you know what i'm saying and, and we don't have no protagonist going up against him not even you know, Leoria is not in the game. Kurapika is not in the game. It's only Gun and Killua. If it's even for him, is if it's even for him to go up against Bisky, I would be happy about that. But it has to be one of these dudes that take out the bomber, because right now he's the bad guy. He's the antagonist right now in in the arc, right? Introduced as the as the antagonist in the last couple of episodes we reacted to. So, gonna jump into this episode sixty five. Let's get it, man. Let's go. You already know what to do. Put a link in the description. Come back and watch my review. Okay? Maybe El Chopo will show up again. All right? Hopefully, we can forget all that stuff you complained about. All right? So, see you guys later. All right, guys, welcome back to the review of these four episodes, 65 through 68 of the Hunter Hunter series. Yes, we are back. Let's talk about it. Well, we have the situation with, um, first, I want to congratulations to Killua, of course, for passing the Hunter exam in probably record breaking time. Yes. <laughs> he just destroyed everybody, collected their pins, and Netero just handed him his badge. He already knows then there's no secret exam for him to go through again. Um, it's just is as as I said, man, I said before that Killua has the most interesting story arcs so far in the series. Not necessarily Gun. Gun is doing the things I'm expecting him to do from from his knowing what his character is all about so i make it is what i'm trying to say is that it's not that gun doesn't have character development we revealing stuff that i expect already about gun is not really surprising when he does anything 
you get what I'm saying like how he reacts to certain things is no surprise you get what I'm saying but with Killua knowing the background knowing the stuff that he's been through as a kid and who he is now is two totally different people so that's why I said his arc is way more interesting than any other arc like we know what who Kurapika is we know what he was all about that was established in basically episode one who he's after so how he reacts to the phantom troop is expected you get what I'm saying the craziness how it drives him basically not too nuts but he's really upset you know what I'm saying and he goes off and he's fabulous and he's good and he's a little OP <laughs> when it comes on to the phantom troop but you get what I'm trying to say so I love Killua's arc man now he's a hunter for real for real you know what I'm saying so congratulations to him for that um, so this new character that was introduced in 65 his name is Razor right um as they've said it again when they got back to trying to get patch of sure or whatever they call that card right so um they lost the game on purpose because they're trying to get that card because it's rare so they lost the game on purpose to strategize because they realized they're going to need stronger players to go up against these dudes but here's the issue If they go back, right, it's the same thing, right? Who's to tell that they're not going to have stronger pirates this time around? Is it going to be the same people again? Who knows what's going to happen? So I'm looking forward to that. I like the idea of them contacting Cesara or whatever. I can't remember that dude's name, man, for nothing. It's the Cesara Cesaraga. I don't know what his name is. Setsugaga, <laughs> whatever his name is, you guys know what I'm talking about. Um, yo, Genthru is, he's a douche beyond douche. He's a murderer, of course, mass murderer for that reason. He killed so many people. I think it was in episode 65. Um, he killed so many people by setting that bomb off. So we know who the Nen Perjurer is. That black dude that went to go get help from Gun and uh, and Bisky is that black dude. He has the power to remove other people's Nen from himself or from other people. I'm guessing that he can do that. So that's who Krolo needs to find, right? Legitimately. Um freaking phantom troop they got kicked off the damn island um so i don't I, I really and truly right now in the arc it's it's truly truly interesting story wise the intricacy and i talked about it a little while i was reacting and i talked about it a little bit the intricacies of the story itself as in um just seeing the things unfold you know what I'm saying? Like, you you would love to pick the brains of the person that actually writes the story. Why I would like to pick his brain? Just to understand how his mind works. Like, from point A to point B. You get what I'm saying? Because even though a lot of the stuff don't surprise me in the story, it's still so interesting to the fact that you want to eat it all up you just want to gobble it all up you just want to i just want to watch all the episodes at one it makes you want to binge you know what i'm saying and that's hard to achieve that's very hard to achieve people think that writing a story um writing something and you know there's there are shows there are new shows tv shows that i've watched and one, two episodes in, I'm like, I'm done. I, I can't do this anymore. I'm taught, I'm torturing myself to watch this show. You know what I'm saying? Because the plot is all over the place. You don't know who the, the character is. You know what I'm saying? Like, nothing is being fleshed out. Fr it's not interesting. Period. It's not a easy thing to get an audience interested in your stuff 60-something episodes in and they still want to keep 
going it's not the easy thing to do it may it may seem common you guys don't understand how many stories are pitched to networks on a daily basis i'm not talking about like yearly on a daily basis it's a ridiculous amount of shows that are pitched to networks um whether it be anime whatever the situation is it's a ridiculous amount thousands of people are trying to get their stories into into manga um, um manga magazines like shonen and and all of these other ones right like the ones that we don't really know we don't care about much <laughs> you know what i'm saying so there's a lot of anime out don't get me wrong there's a lot of anime out there animes um manga stories out there that i really need to read and stuff but i'm just saying guys like it's the few that we get to experience that the network says yes and sometimes they may look at it and be like oh this is really interesting and they put it out and then they don't love it and they cancel it right and i've watched so many shows that are that has a really interesting plot line that get canceled you get what i'm saying because maybe other people don't see that as good enough it's not entertaining enough you get what i'm saying it's not gripping enough and that's why you see a lot of tv shows these days what they try to do is to grip you by what they use emotion appeal to your emotion more than anything else to get you into their series from episode one now you know what i'm saying to grip you the stuff that they talked about in in episode one of game of thrones season one episode one it was enough to get you into the game of thrones world and understand what it's all about the arrival at winterfell all of this other stuff you know what i'm saying if you're talking about um if you want to talk about anime in naruto we had that first episode where so many things happened in that first episode how can you not want to watch episode two after seeing episode one of naruto part one i mean seriously i mean we literally got to see a little bit of the the, the um the demon fox right in that episode we got to see a conflict right you know seeing how naive um naruto can be also we got to see how knuckleheaded he can be by painting the okage's face getting reprimanded by um hiroka you know which ended up you would have never thought that he would have actually become a ninja in episode one and he did you get what i'm saying to the, the path that he was going down we thought you know what i'm saying hiruka saving him i mean everything you want in a episode one to bring you into a series that was naruto episode one everything you need emotion a conflict what is this character about learning about you know we learned about is is ninja way which carried throughout the whole series we learned about that in episode one if somebody's supposed to do like a complete breakdown of naruto episode one is so freaking essential which is something that a lot of people that i've seen cover naruto and do excerpts on the series they never really mention how important episode one is if there's one out there you guys can shoot me that video please you know what i'm saying but i've never watched one i've seen plenty of people do you know reviews complete reviews of the entire series and they they fail to mention how important that episode one was to getting people into the series like everybody that i've seen watch this series i've overseen people reacting to it over time and stuff like that i've seen them after episode one they're like yo this anime you know what i'm saying like i've never seen anybody like shit on it like after watching episode one even though episode two was kind of like me not my favorite episode but it's, you still was interested in the characters the second the second episode of naruto was about konohamaru which turned out to be the worst introduction in the series that i can think of up to date because i still don't know what his purpose was <laughs> you know what i'm saying like konohamaru is one of the worst character introductions earlier early in the series that i've ever seen 
Because even now, who is he in Boruto? He wasn't even... You know what I mean? <sighs> what has he done? Is he doing good in Boruto? Because I'm not watching it. Is he doing good over there? Because I don't think he is. Is he really going to be the eighth Okage? I, I don't see it happening. I don't see it happening, man. Um, so, just saying. And that's what I'm saying. Like, the first episode, even though the second episode wasn't all that, even though there was some important stuff happening in there, you know, you know, Naruto showing that he doesn't care if he's the Okage's grandson and all of this other stuff that happened in episode two. But at the same time, as I said, it wasn't, the, you know, it wasn't a great follow up to the greatness of episode one. You know what I'm saying? It was basically them establishing him, Naruto as a mentor at his age at that time, which is, which was just kind of weird for me, you know? establishing a rival for him which would never became really a ri rivalry you know what i'm saying because his real rival ended up being sasuke not freaking konohamaru so it would have been better for them to introduce sasuke in the second episode of the series instead of you get instead of konohamaru that you know i can go on and on about naruto but anyways this series awesome awesome stuff awesome stuff man you know, that just goes to show you, um, it's high praise. When I compare anything to, to Naruto, it's high praise. It's I, it's, it's high praise. So I'm telling you from episode one, and that's what I'm saying. In episode one of this series, you got to see a lot. There was a conflict, right? You're heading to the, the Hunter exam. We got to know who Gun is, what he represents, you know, his, his characteristics, all of that good stuff we got to see that we had a conflict it was a minor conflict it wasn't anything big between leorio and kuropika which ended up being friends so it kind of showed you where the series was going we didn't it get introduced to killer war or anything like that but it kind of introduced what the story was going to be about the trickery with the with the hunter exam not knowing who is who you know what i'm saying from the, the even the guy that recognized gun on the ship and stuff like that it's this journey about his, you know, about his dad. And we're still on the journey of him going to meet his dad. And now we're in the process of him figuring his way through and his dad, dad setting up all these things for him to be trained. In my opinion, I think this, this whole series is just a big training for Gun. That's all I think it is. It's just a big training session for him to be saucy enough to meet his dad which i think is a dope concept but also that shit wouldn't work in real life but <laughs> but anyway i digress anyway so yeah man i don't know why i've been talking for 15 minutes but this was this I, I i'm just going on and on about this series because i i love it i love it i love it i enjoy it so much and i know you guys have watched it before and you love it as you wouldn't have recommended it you wouldn't have voted it in to be the next one i reacted to so i know you guys love it too so thank you guys so much for for, for showing up um and for supporting these videos man you know the views have dropped but it's okay you know what i'm saying i'm not gonna stop until i get to the very last episode and then i'm gonna do a complete series review um, and try to wrap things up probably do it do a series of you a little bit better than what I did in death note not just having my face but having some clips every now and then um, during it just to have I'm trying to improve things on the channel um, that's why I've introduced my friend El Chopo um, so El Chopo right <laughs> yeah El Chopo Poseres <laughs> you know so, um, so I hope you guys enjoy that, man, and, you know, had a good laugh at my expense. Of course, if you guys want to see um, more characters show up on the channel, because I can't get my girl to come do it with me, and that's the reason why I said, let me improvise a little bit and do a little, little something there, here and there, every now and then, and introduce some characters to the channel and stuff like that. I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you, if you like El Chopo, man, leave a like on this video leave a comment in the comment section subscribe if you're new and 
just let me know what you guys think man i'm always open to constructive criticism just don't don't call me names and stuff like that keep it respectful and i'll take your comments serious okay so thank thank you guys for watching as always just remember you are terror squad and i am mr terror by reacts and i will see you guys next time for more reactions on hunter hunter peace